Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to back up and restore AWS RDS databases using Snapshot with PowerShell. So the first step is let's have a look and see what instances I have running. So I've got DB instance called TechSnip and it's currently available. This is actually a MySQL database. So next, let's check using get RDS DB snapshot if I have any snapshots stored. And I don't at the moment. So next, we actually want to create the snapshot. So into parameters, we pass an argument called DB snapshot identifier. So this is the name I'm going to give to the snapshot. Then we have to specify the DB instance identifier. So this is the instance that we want to snapshot. And we pass that into new RDS DB snapshot. So that returns fairly quickly, but as we'll see, the snapshot is currently creating. So this can take anywhere between a couple of minutes, depending all on the size of your snapshot as well. So it can take a wee bit of time. So these snapshots we are creating, they are manual snapshots. When you create a database instance, you have the option for automated backups. So when that instance is deleted, uh, the automated backups go with it. Manual snapshots you can keep forever. So now you'll see our snapshot is available and that's it being taken. Percentage progress is at 100%. So our next step is to restore a snapshot. Now, when you restore a snapshot, you can't restore it over an existing instance. You have to create a new instance. So this can be suitable for various scenarios. If a developer wants to test new data or you want to try a new instance class, you might want to try a larger class. These options are available when you restore the snapshot. We need two pieces of information. We need the DB snapshot ARN and we need the subnet group. So we'll copy that to the clipboard and we'll paste that in to DB snapshot identifier. So you'll see the instance identifier is now copy tech snip DB. I'm going for the same instance class, the dbt 2 micro. The engine is MySQL and storage type GP2. So we need to retrieve the subnet group, which happens to be the same, it's called Aurora. So once we have all these parameters set up, we then pass that into restore RDS DB instance from DB snapshot. So we can use get RDS DB instance and find out the status of our snapshot, which we've just converted into an instance. So there you see copy text snip DB creating. Again, this, depending on the size of your instance, might take a wee while to create. So now your instance is online, copy tech snip DB, which was taken from the snapshot. So lastly, you might want to do a bit of housekeeping. When you finish with the instance and the snapshot, you probably want to remove these. So let's first look at the snapshot. Using get RDS DB snapshot, let's retrieve the snapshots we currently have. Yep, we still have snap dash tech snip. So we can use the commandlet remove RDS DB snapshot and we pass in the name of the identifier snap dash tech snip. And that's now deleted. We can go back and check and you'll see we no longer have that snapshot. Now to remove that instance that we created from the snapshot, we set up some parameters. We have to put in the instance identifier, which is copy tech snip DB. We choose an option skip final snapshot to one. So this makes sure that when we delete the instance, that there's not a final snapshot created. And we pass that in to remove RDS DB instance. Thank you for watching this video.